Hey everybody. Well, it's Monday and I just got home from work. Um, I'm enjoying a little bit of downtime on my deck with my wine. And um, I'm kind of tired. You know, it's been a long day, but it hasn't been too stressful. But I really, really, really want some comfort food. You know what I mean? Do you ever just want something that feels like a warm blanket or a mama's hug? <laughs> That's what I want today, but I really don't want to have to do a lot of cooking. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is make a, a chicken pot pie. I have all the ingredients at home. Now this is a um, fast way to make chicken pot pie. It's not all that economical really. It's pr well, probably about, it's less than $15 for the whole pie and um, it'll feed a, a really good sized family but it's just Brandon and I but I don't care you know what I'm gonna throw it together we'll have leftovers um, now let me just tell you this is not healthy in any way if so if you're looking to um, cut back on your fat or your carbs or you're trying to lose weight or for whatever reason you know this is not the recipe for you because like it is comfort food it's comfort food for a reason now I know there's a lot of healthy recipes out there and but this is for you know when you want something that's really good and filling and comforting but you don't want to put a lot of time into it because I really didn't think about this until just a couple hours ago I was like ooh, chicken pot pie would be great and I just happened to have everything in the fridge I didn't have time to um, to thaw out some chicken and cook the chicken and do all that stuff so this is just gonna work perfectly and you know what if you're a working mom or a working stay-at-home mom you know this is really good for you because this is gonna um, take a lot of a lot of time off your plate and honestly you can make this put it together in less time that it takes to preheat your oven and that's what we're going to do here in a minute. So, I'll, you know what? I'll take you along. We'll have some dinner. It takes about 45 minutes to bake, 30 to 45 minutes. Um, so, guess what? While you're doing that, while it's in the oven, you can pour a glass of vino. Or you can take a hot bath, sit back, or just enjoy your family, enjoy your whatever, enjoy your life. All right, let's go get cooking. See you in the kitchen. All right, so here we are. Our um, cast of characters are, I got the John Soul Foods Chicken Fajitas. These are already cooked. All you have to do is heat them up. A bag of California mix, but you can use whatever vegetable you like. You can use mixed vegetables, just broccoli, you know, whatever. But I just got a generic bag of frozen California mix. Some cheddar cheese, uh, some cream of mushroom, and cream of celery. Now, I didn't have any cream of chicken, but that's normally what I use. Okay, let's see. Um, some non cook or non stick canola spray, uh, some ready made Pillsbury pie crusts, very important. Lowry seasoned salt some black pepper and sea salt and honestly that's it so we're just going to put this together i'll show you how it's done all right so first we are going to set our oven to 350. here we go we're gonna let that preheat all right so then let's see we will go ahead and we just have this Big old Dutch oven, and that you're gonna do everything in this baby. You don't have to transfer to anything. So we're just gonna spray it lightly. All right, so Nick, we're just gonna let this heat up. I have it on about, oh, I don't know, medium, medium heat. And I'm just gonna add this frozen chicken. All right, and then the frozen vegetables. Not super easy. 
Now let's go ahead and season this with a little bit of the Lowry season salt. And you can use anything you guys want. You don't have to use Lowry's. It's just what I happen to have. All right, so I'm gonna add just a little bit. Oops, hold on there. All right, uh, there we go. I'm gonna add just a little bit of the Lowry's and some pepper. We like a lot of pepper in our house, so. Okay, actually I'm gonna put a lot more in there because, <clears throat> oh my goodness, that's a lot. Okay, well, we like pepper, so that's a good thing. All right, so I'm just gonna let this heat up. Um, I may add just a little bit of water to give it some moisture, but I'm gonna wait just a second. And really, that's not too much pepper. It's just, actually, it's just perfect. You can put as much or as little as you want, so. That's all right, okay. I'm gonna turn it up just a tad, and I'm gonna add some water. All right, so I added just a little bit of water and I also poured me some wine. That is mandatory. I turned the heat up. I'm just gonna heat this up because you know what? All this is cooked. I mean, it's just frozen. So you don't have to worry about, you know, undercooking or overcooking. So just, you know, just heat it up until it gets good and and pretty much defrosted is basically all you want to do. Ugh, it's already starting to smell good. I love it. Okay. So I just keep, I just kind of stir it and, you know, and it's starting to heat up really well. I don't need to cook it all the way through because it's going to go in the oven. But um, I do want it to be less frosty so that's all we're doing here is we're just going to kind of thaw it out get it a little bit warm and then we'll add the rest of our ingredients <clears throat> okay so i um added the cream of mushroom and the cream of celery soup and i'm going to add some cheese and we love cheese in this house so we're going to put a lot you can put as much or as little as you want. It matters not. I'm just going to put this whole thing in here. What am I kidding? Or who am I kidding? Right? Let's get this stirred up. And then we're going to just put the crust on top. Yay. Okay. So I went ahead and put the pre-prepared um, crust on top. And I'm putting little slits in the top. And honestly, you know what? This took me less this took me less time to make or to put together than it did for my oven to preheat. So now I'm going to put this in the oven for about, oh, a 350 degree preheated oven for about 45 minutes. And, but I'm going to check it after 30, which is what I recommend. It really depends on the, um, on, you know, your, your oven. Cause some, some ovens heat a lot hotter than others. So let's just, uh, we're going to check it in about 30 minutes and then we'll go from there. Bye. All right, so it's been 45 minutes. We are going to dig in. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that looks so good. It's good and hot. Put it over here. 
Oh, that looks great, doesn't it? All right. <clears throat> Yay! Okay, I'm gonna try it. It's really hot, be careful. Mmm. This is so good. This, <clears throat> this is just what I needed today. It's rich, it's creamy, it's hot, it's comforting. The um, crust is really crispy. I think you're gonna love it. So you know what, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Go down and subscribe. And you know what, let me know in the comments what your uh, comfort food is. Is there something you grew up with that you absolutely go to every time you've had a bad day or you, you know, you endured a breakup or whatever. Just tell me what it is. What is your comfort food? I will put the recipe down in the comments for this chicken pot pie. And you know what? I'm going to sign off here because I'm going to eat. All right. Until next time, be happy. Bye-bye.